I took the following videos of flocks of cowbirds closely following cattle to eat insects in an area of southeast Ohio near the wilds, a well-known Midwestern birding hotspot. Many people despise cowbirds, however I was drawn to their fascinating behavior which is an example of both commensalism, the cowbirds benefit from association with cows, but the cows apparently suffer no benefit or harm other than the occasional eating of a bug on a cow by a cowbird. This area of Ohio was historically covered in dense forest and was cleared and strip mined and then later converted to agriculture and recreational use leaving a prairie-like environment where a hundred years ago or so dense forest stood. And therein lies an interesting story. The brown-headed cowbird is a member of the blackbird family. The adult male is easily identified by his brown head and metallic green body. Female cowbirds are a pale brown with a gray-brown head. Both male and females have a length of about seven and a half inches. Cowbirds are brood parasites, which means they lay their eggs in the nests of other birds and don't care for their own young. Their parasitic reproduction strategy is unique among the world's blackbird species. Because of this strategy, they do not need to expend time and energy to build their own nests, defend a territory, lay and incubate eggs, and care for the chicks. Males and females will mate with several individuals within a season and females lay eggs from mid-April through mid-June in the nest of other birds, usually a single egg and then leaves. The female cowbird may do this up to 20 to 40 times per breeding season. Many of these eggs are not successful. In the process, the female cowbird may remove or destroy some or all of the eggs and or nestlings of the host birds. Most females specialize on one particular host species. Scientists originally thought that there was no parental investment after laying the eggs. However, recent research has found that female cowbirds will monitor nests where they have laid eggs. If their eggs are removed, they may destroy the host eggs in a sort of revenge. The host birds, usually songbirds, incubate the eggs and raise the cowbird chicks as their own. Cowbird eggs hatch sooner, 10 to 12 days, and the young grow faster. They fledge in 10 to 11 days, so the cowbird chicks get most of the food and have been known to push the host chicks completely out of the nest. Often the adult host bird end up feeding and caring for only the cowbird chick rather than raising the next generation of their own kind. Cowbirds evolved to follow herds of grazing animals, often covering many miles in a day. Historically, cowbirds were restricted to the Great Plains and short grass prairies where they followed buffalo herds, feeding on insects stirred up by the grazing animals probably due to the shortage of open short grass feeding areas elsewhere in the United States. It was not until the native forests of the eastern United States were opened up and interspersed with agriculture and livestock that cowbirds were able to invade. Cowbirds breed in areas with grassland or low scattered trees such as woodland edges, brushy thickets, fields, prairies, pastures, and orchards. Fragmentation of forests has greatly increased potential breeding habitat. Today, brown-headed cowbirds occur throughout the United States. Throughout North America, songbird numbers are declining. While there's no single reason for this decline, one major contributing factor is the spread of the cowbirds due to landscape changes throughout North America. The buffalo bird of the past has become the widespread cowbird of the present. Human-caused changes to the environment including the introductions of domesticated grazing animals and associated widespread clearing of eastern forests for pasture land and cultivation of fields and lawns has greatly benefited the cowbird, helping it to spread to new territories and prey on more songbird species. Today the cowbird parasitizes more than 225 species of North American birds. It now parasitizes the nest of many new species that had no previous exposure to nest parasitism. Most native birds can't distinguish their own eggs and nestlings from the cowbird and will raise the cowbird nestling at the expense of their own young.
Studies have suggested livestock may create cowbird feeding microhabitats, increase insect abundance, provide foods in their manure, and may make food more visible by flushing insects when grazing. Due to this close association, livestock can influence the number and distribution of cowbirds. The presence of livestock tends to increase densities of cowbirds locally and can create gradients of parasitism pressure within a landscape. The presence of livestock may be essential for continued cowbird presence or prolonged egg production. The strong bond between cowbirds and livestock has led to the consideration of rotation of livestock away from host breeding habitat as a management technique to reduce parasitism of host nests. The effectiveness of this technique as well as other aspects of the commensalistic relationship between cowbirds and livestock, including cowbird removal programs, is the subject of continuing study. Cowbirds are a native bird species and protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty, but where they are a significant threat to threatened bird species or a state bird of special concern, the state and or U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service may allow for private citizens to humanely and safely eliminate them without harming other birds, which is not easy. It's best to always check with your State Wildlife Commission for the latest rules and advice before attempting to manage any protected birds on your property.